Oh look, there's a giant blob heading straight for New York City. Oh wait, hold on. You'll actually have to look down, not up. Because this blob is a mass of hot rock moving beneath the Earth's surface. And when it finally reaches the Big Apple, some say it could tear the continent in two. But Yankees fans, and even you Mets fans, don't worry, this journey is going to take about 15 million years or so. You see, a long time ago, people noticed something curious. When they looked at world maps, they thought, hmm, don't the continents look like puzzle pieces that could fit together? That couldn't just be a coincidence, right? Then, in the year 1912, a German meteorologist named Alfred Wegener came up with a revolutionary idea something we now know as the theory of continental drift. Wegener said the continents are always on the move, and those huge chunks of land we see today were all once connected, forming one giant supercontinent called Pangaea. That idea suddenly explained a lot of mysteries, like why fossils from the same species turn up in different corners of the world, even though entire oceans lie between them. Or why coastlines of continents match up so neatly just like South America and Africa. Wegener also explained that mountains form when a drifting continent runs into another one, crumpling the land and pushing it upward. That is exactly how the Himalayas came to be. The Indian plate collided with the Eurasian plate, and the land rose into the massive mountain range we see today. Now these days, everybody learns about Wegener's idea in school and takes it as fact. But back then, Many people thought he was completely out of his mind. I mean, whole continents moving around? What on earth could push them? That's why it took scientists more than 50 years to finally go, oh, I see, it's the Earth's mantle. Yep, slow-moving currents of hot rock deep in the Earth's mantle push the tectonic plates around, and that means the continents move too. Picture super-tough puzzle pieces floating on top of boiling oatmeal. That's a picture. Yep, they drift, and sooner or later, they crash into each other. This is what happens on Earth's surface. And that's how we finally agreed that Wegener was right. But what if I told you that might not always be the case? Some experts agree that the supercontinent Pangaea started breaking apart about 200 million years ago. And that's how we ended up with the world map we know today. But a recent study is challenging part of that idea. And it all comes down to a giant mass of hot rock, something scientists call the Northern Appalachian Anomaly, or just NAA. Yep, what we casually call a blob, the experts call an anomaly. And that is simply because it is hotter than the rock around it. So this anomaly sits about 124 miles beneath the mountains of New England and stretches up to 249 miles wide. It lies in the asthenosphere the semi-molten layer of Earth's upper mantle. But here's the strange part. It should not even be there. I mean, rock hmm. formations like this normally don't exist in that part of Earth's interior. For years, scientists thought the anomaly was left over from when the North American continent broke apart from Northwest Africa about 180 million years ago. This new study says that might not be the case. It suggests the blob is actually linked to the process that split Greenland from North America only about 80 million years ago. The idea, then, is that this blob is a leftover from when the landmass broke apart, a piece that never quite settled down. This is one stubborn blob we're talking about because it is still on the move, super slowly. But still, it moves only about 12 miles in a million years. Over time, it's already traveled more than 1,100 miles from where it first appeared. And now, New Yorkers, watch out! This blob of scorching hot rock is heading your way. Okay, I know, I'm being a little dramatic. The truth is, we really don't have to worry. First, scientists say it won't even get near the city for at least 15 million years. And second, even though we call it a blob, it is not something gelatinous. It is not oozing. And it is definitely not going to push its way up through the Earth's crust and invade the New York subway, or anything like that. That is just not going to happen. What the anomaly will look like, or what it might do to the continent in the future, is still a mystery for geologists. But they are pretty confident it will not have any real impact on human infrastructure or on our daily lives. 
it is not like lava that's suddenly going to burst through the floor of your house. That's because, at the end of the day, the blob is just rock. Like any rock you see on the street, only super high, enormous, and buried deep inside the Earth. To explain why this rock is sitting in such a weird spot, scientists came up with what they call the mantle wave theory. So think of it kind of like a lava lamp. After continents break apart, hot, heavy rock can detach from the bottom of the tectonic plates in blobs. These blobs, or pieces of rock, move around under the crust and create waves. When that hot material slips under a continent, it works like the flame under a hot air balloon. It gives the land a little lift. Then when continents stretch and split, space opens up underneath and semi-molten rock quickly fills in. Eventually, it cools down, gets heavier, and sinks. Meanwhile, hotter mantle material rises up and creates a warm patch called a thermal anomaly. This sudden motion shakes up the base of the continent. Imagine a row of dominoes. One piece falls and the rest falls. Blobs of rock start dripping downward one after another, and over time, they slowly move inland. Scientists think these rock currents keep flowing, rippling under the surface for millions of years. Now, knowing all this matters, because the anomaly might have played a role in shaping the land above it. For example, it may have lifted up some ancient mountains over the past few million years. That helps to explain a big mystery of the region. Why the Appalachians are still standing. I mean, why haven't they worn down as much as you would expect after all this time? Well, think about it. The Appalachians are ancient. This mountain range in North America started forming hundreds of millions of years ago, long before the dinosaurs. With all that time, rain, wind, and erosion should have worn them down to almost nothing by now. Honestly, some geologists expected them to be rolling hills at best. But nope, they're still mountains, pretty ones too, and much bigger than they should be. And here's where the blob comes in. See, when a giant pocket of super hot rock sits under a mountain range, it can actually give the crust a little lift. It's kind of like putting a balloon under a blanket. The blanket rises up. The heat makes the Earth's crust lighter. So even while wind and rain are wearing the mountains down from above, the Earth is gently pushing them back up from below. There is another positive takeaway from this study. These new insights can help scientists better understand other strange geological features around the world. In fact, the researchers believe they may have already found a twin to this blob, sitting under north-central Greenland and also tied to the Labrador Sea. So, what can we conclude from all this? Well, tectonic plate movement is still the reasons continents break apart. But the process goes much deeper than we thought. The effects of ancient rifting can still play out millions of years after the surface split, just like what happened in Greenland. Although it's still really hard to predict what this anomaly will look like in the future, we know one thing for sure right now. There is nothing to fear. And I'm betting that most of us won't be around for that. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.